I'll tell you, congratulations. I'm saying congratulations for you being elected. Uh, I want to thank and bow to my people, the Fafians, special bow to Hangolites for delivering this seat, giving me the mandate to represent them, the power to legislate, the mantle to oversight in this house. I, I, I say thank you very much. Mr. Speaker, sir, it's also an honor that the subject of the matter, when I'm given the chance to talk, is a matter of dear importance to me and my people. Mr. Speaker, sir, Fafi constituency in Garissa town is the largest constituency in Garissa. It's a constituency which has 45 kilometer stretch of river Tana, 50 kilometer of borderline to Somalia. It's a constituency with people of great generosity in that they harbored, welcomed, host Somali refugees to the number of 200,000 and above. Mr. Speaker, sir, Mr. Speaker, sir, as we speak drought, every household in a ward called Fafi Ward, the host community in that area, host a number of around five to ten individuals who are influx, who are refugee influx, former influx from southern and southern parts of Somalia Gede region. These numbers to about 65,000 people. They have not been registered, they have not been catered for, and they are burdened to a family whose main problem today is bringing a source of bread in their table. Mr. Speaker, sir, drought has been an issue which has been there in this constituency since the time of the defenders. It comes, it goes. Now hitting us hard in that this is the fifth system without rain in that area. The funny part of it is two kilometers from the river in that constituency, if you live two kilometers from the river in that constituency, inwards, you'll find no water. The farthest point from the river to the borderline in my constituency is 200 kilometers. If something is done, money is poured, funds is given, I believe water could have been pumped from River Tana to the farthest point in my constituency. And today I could not have been here saying there's lack of water in my area. Government has been doing a lot of interventions, but of little uh, importance. It was important, but of little. Rain harvesting have been the main interventions the government used to do. As we speak, there are over 200 water pumps done in that constituency. I can see the light is on. <laughs> but the issue of drought in our area is culminated by lack of water in that area. It's because of lack of water in that area that the schools today, 28 primary schools in my area are closed or almost be closed because of lack of water. It's because of lack of water in that area that there's insecurity because of conflict in the little water pans which are there, which has water today. This is an area which used to have Arawale Reserve, but because of lack of water and drought today, the hunters had been Herola, a wild rare species, which was 10,000 in numbers in 1980. Today, the numbers are less than 200 or 100. Mr. Speaker, sir, I second the motion. I support the proposal to adjournment. I know this is a dear, important subject to our area, and I want a great government intervention in that area, and government to enhance sectors.